Sometimes, a simple website header is the most effective. Clean, clear, and creative. It tells you what's going on, and it does so in a way that's engaging to the user. We can break down the header from Superlist into three parts. The background, the titles, and the slider that moves back and forth, revealing each of the halves. We can get started on steps one and two by creating a div for each side, both containing their respective titles inside of an H2 tag. Let's give our titles a better color and font family, scale up the size, and use the margin and width properties to center the text horizontally on the page. To center our titles vertically, let's set the height of each side to 100% of the viewport and place it in the center using CSS Grid. We can use Position Absolute to set our sides on top of one another, and Overflow Hidden will prevent our text from overlapping when dragging our slider. Let's give a brighter background color to each of our halves, and set the left side on top with a z-index of 2. With our titles almost complete, we can get started on step 3, the slider. Let's grab the left side element with get element by ID and store it in a variable. Since our slider is controlled by our mouse, we'll create a function to handle the on mouse move event. Inside of this function, all we need to do is calculate the width of the left side as a percentage based on the current position of the mouse. Once we have this value, we can simply assign it to the width attribute on our element. Finally, let's bind our mouse move listeners by calling document.onMouseMove, and we can even make it work on mobile by doing the same with the onTouchMove listener. Jumping back to step two, we forgot to make one of our title words fancier than the rest. Let's wrap our target word in a span tag and give it a class of fancy. In our styles, we'll give this word a fancier font family and increase the size. Finally, let's upgrade our font colors by setting the left side to white and the fancy word to yellow. On the right side, we'll set the primary color to dark and the accent color to white. The next step is about three and a half minutes long, which involves this video being over and you watching another video to find out how to create this amazing hover card effect. If you made it this far, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.